Hello and welcome. Take a moment, pause the video, read the problem, try it on your own. Then when you're ready, press play and we'll solve it together. Alright, so I think that the big thing here is to realize what they're asking. If we look at this, is which of the statements describes a situation with an equal difference over an equal interval, right? So that, that phrasing right there might throw you off. Let's just talk about that really quickly. And I think what's being established with that is the question becomes e easier. Equal difference over an equal interval. Um, that is slope, right? So they're talking about the slope here. Equal difference, so y2 minus y1 over an equal interval, x2 minus x1. This is the idea of slope. You take a, a difference, you divide it by um, some interval, and you get a constant amount, right? In other words, take any two points in any of these situations, and when you compare the difference over that interval, those two points you've chosen, you get the same number. And that only happens in uh, linear situations. In exponential situations, uh, you'll have an equal quotient. Right? If you divide two values you get, um, over an interval, you will get uh, a constant quotient. That's the idea of exponentiation. Uh, and that's exactly what choices two and three are. Right? These are both exponential. Uh, but choice one is linear. If you think about it, it's saying for the first 28 days, the sunflower grows, of, grows at a rate of 3.5 centimeters per day. So I don't know what the height of the sunflower is at the beginning. Let's just say it's at 1. And at that day, it's at 3.5 centimeters. And on day 2, it grows by another 3.5 centimeters to 7. And then day 3, it goes to 10.5. So here, if we look at our slope over any interval, let's compare the first two points, it's 7 minus 3.5 over 2 minus 1. And what's that? Well, that's 3.5 over 1. That's our slope. So that's between these two points. But if I compare these two points, I'll get the same thing. 10.5 minus 3.5 over 3 minus 1. That equals, what does that equal? That equals 7 over 2. And that's still 3.5 for every 1, or just 3.5. So the idea of a linear function is you can pick any two points and get an equal um, rate of change. Alright, I hope this helped.